Hi everyone, it's Rhiannon here and I'm here to talk to you about another excellent book. The book I'm going to talk about today is High Rise Mystery by Shana Jackson. This is a 9 to 12 murder mystery adventure book and it's so clever, it's so funny and it's absolutely brilliant. High Rise Mystery is published by this excellent publisher called Knights Of who um, basically are a kids publisher focused around publishing diverse children's books. Um, they've got a couple out so far and I'd really recommend them. They have a quite a range of genre that they publish and I think they're definitely a publishing house to keep an eye on because they're just really great and the books they produce are also really great. <laughs> so the premise of High Rise Mystery is that there are two sisters, Nick and Norva, and they live in a high rise in London um, and they have a sort of detective team where they just go around solving mysteries. But they've never sold anything big until one day Nick and Norva discover the body of someone they really liked on the estate called Hugo who ran a sort of art collective and then they just work together to try and solve the mystery of who killed him. Their dad gets implicated pretty early on, so they're also trying to clear his name. The book is all told from Nick's point of view. She's the younger sister, I think she's about 11, and then Norva is 13, and their chemistry is so funny. Norva is just like the most brash, confident girl. She's like everything I wished I could be when I was 13. She just like knows exactly who she is. She doesn't really take anything from anyone. Um, she was so much fun to read and the like contrast between her and Nick was really really fun to read because Nick's a little bit more inwards, a little bit more introverted, a little less inclined to take risks um, and they both have very different styles of detecting which they both acknowledge and you know use to their advantages. Another thing I really enjoyed about this book was the way it was written. Everything happens very fast um, but in a really good way where you're just like constantly kept guessing and on your toes. Nick is always carrying around her phone where she like jots down little things about the case and Jackson actually recreates it for you so you can see like this little table where they fill in you know their suspects and everything and that just it made it much more enjoyable to read because you can kind of like half puzzle it out with them as you go along. The mystery itself is really interesting and captivating and the twists and turns like I couldn't guess it and the ending was genuinely very surprising to me. Jackson really fleshes out the community in this book and creates this like wonderful cast of characters who are just like very funny to read but then also slightly suspicious because they have their own motivations and you don't really know who to trust um but Nick and Norva handle it like pros they are much more capable than I was at their age uh they got this detective thing down Jackson also sets it in the middle of like this very oppressive London summer um which if you were in London last summer I think everyone can relate to and just sort of really emphasizes the like closeness and everyone's like hot and everyone's feeling a bit weird and like sleepy and things are going a bit strange. Another really great thing about this book is that I believe it's the first 9 to 12 murder mystery or I mean at the very least the first 9 to 12 murder mystery I've read that has two black characters as the main characters. Um, I think it's so important for all kids to see themselves in the books they read and for people to read outside of their lived experiences to gain empathy um, and I'm just really really happy to see this book on tables and in shops all children can benefit from seeing this representation but also specifically kids who might not have been represented in books before um, now get to see themselves which I think is really great. I would definitely recommend this book for fans of Robin Stevens' Murder Most Unladylike, Lauren St John's Cat Wolf books, um, the Agatha Audley books. It's just such an enjoyable read and I'm so glad it exists and I can't wait to see more because I have a feeling it's going to be a series or maybe that's just wishful thinking um, but I'd love to read more of Nick and Norva and see like what they get up to next. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time.